Merry Christmas everyone! Stay tuned because this video is about tips and tricks and ways to get you through the holidays because I know it's stressful. We have Christmas, Christmas Eve for some of us still, and New Year's, so stay tuned. Perfect. So today's topic is Christmas. I know many of you, because you're on all parts of the world, are already celebrating or you're getting ready to celebrate. And I know it's been really stressful and I've been talking to a lot of you. Many of the questions that have come up is how do I deal? How do I plan? What do I do? My grandma's really, she doesn't get it and she makes comments or my aunt is really mean and she will say things and it hurts my feelings. And what do we do, right? It's already hard enough. Normal people without eating disorders or without self-harm behaviors are freaking out themselves. I had some guy honk on me, honk at me for doing nothing on the side of the road and then flip me off. I'm like, this is just a little too much for everybody, right? We all just need to take a step back. <sighs> we have to breathe. So that's one of my first tips. I have a lot of videos and for many of you that noticed, it's been one year, one year and three days. As far as my time zone goes, one year and three days since I started. So I put out 70 videos. We've done it for a year, that's really exciting. So don't be afraid to share this content. You guys are clearly liking it, you're clearly finding it helpful. So let's keep growing, let's keep doing this, right? And on some of my older videos, I talk about relaxation techniques. When you're freaking out, when you feel it building, we all have that. We either feel it in our necks or we get really tense in our shoulders. We do this, some of us need our hands. A lot of people have different things, right? We might even find us clenching our teeth. Be aware of those things. Notice what's making you stressed out. What, what is it that, how do I know I'm anxious? How do I know I'm about to freak out before I freak out, right? And then let's breathe. Let's try to relax. Let's take a minute. Even if you're like, hey, I'll take your jacket for you. I'll go put it in that back room. We take the jacket, right? Go in the back room, we sit down. <sighs> do your four by four breathing. It takes like 30 seconds. No one will even notice, okay? So tip number one, step away, take a breather, right? Now tip number two is something that I talked about a little bit in my Hanukkah video and even my Thanksgiving video is just preparing ahead of time. If you're getting ready to go to your aunt's house and you know she makes this, 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 because if your family's anything like mine, we usually know what's gonna be made, right? We always have a ham. I know that's gonna be there. There's always mashed potatoes. Nobody can live without mashed potatoes in my family, so there's always mashed potatoes you kind of know what's going to be there. So start thinking about it and let's start bartering with our eating disorder. Okay, so today is one day. What can I get through today? What can I, what's going to be okay? Okay, I'll have one slice of this and one scoop, right? We can make up for it or do whatever we need to do later. That's fine, but we have to get through today. So we're going to prepare. We're going to plan for what's going to be okay. And hey, how about we offer to bring something, right? We can bring something and then we know what's in it and that can be our safe food. You know, that's not too bad, right? So let's give that a try too. So we're kind of planning ahead. And then the last thing I wanna talk a little bit about and something I've talked to many of you when you've messaged me or you talked to me saying that it's really stressful, we need to take care of ourselves. We focus so much on what everybody else is doing, what everybody else is maybe thinking, feeling, watching, what they're doing, all of that. And when we're too focused on the outside, we forget what's important to us. So take time for yourself. You wanna paint your nails, you paint your nails. I got my toes done. I don't think you can see it. But I got them done Christmas style because I like it and it was fun and it was something for me. And I love them to rub my feet. I wear a lot of high heels. Any of you that wear heels, whew, you need to get that done, right? And it feels good. So I got them all sparkly and red and do something that's just for you. Also, sometimes I like to paint my nails or I put on face masks and scare my fiance. That's kind of fun. There's lots of things you can do. Sometimes some of you said it helps just to organize something like clean out a closet or take time for yourself. Whatever feels good to you, something you can do for you, only for you, without considering anybody else. Maybe you like to cook. I know a lot of you like to bake. And if that doesn't feed into that eating disorder behavior and the urges, do that. Sometimes we can just zone out. I like to online shop, like put things in a shopping bag and then X out. I don't even buy anything. I just want to shop because it's mindless, right? We think so much all day. We hear so much chatter all day. Take some time for yourself. Find out what it is and try new things. And that's what I really want you guys to share. What's helped you? 
We all have so much experience and you all are so amazing at sharing and helping one another. Share, even post it on my website. Things that have helped me get through Christmas. I love your guys' posts and I know that a lot of you have been talking to one another and that's really what this is all about. That's why I've been doing this for a whole year and we've been working together, right? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel either because I'm not stopping. I know I promised one year, but we're gonna keep going. And you can like it. If you think the content is good, um, YouTube has a little thumbs up. You can give me a thumbs up. And we'll just keep doing this. It's gonna be a new year soon. And I'm very excited because we're gonna keep working together. We're gonna keep working with each other as a community, right? And we're gonna get stronger. And we're gonna work towards a healthy mind and a healthy body. And Merry Christmas, everyone.